This is a quick overview of the brand new Cree 4-Flow LED bulb. This is a 60 watt equivalent LED bulb that uses 11 watts of electricity. So 11 watts for a 60 watt equivalent means that this bulb is not going to be class leading as far as lumens per watt are concerned, but it does have a low upfront purchase cost. So compared to the older generation Cree bulb, this bulb is about $2 less, but uses 1.5 watts more. So as a lifetime value assessment, this bulb would actually cost a few dollars more to operate over its 25,000 hour lifetime. But that's not, uh, not too much. You're talking two or three dollars over the course of many years, so really it's negligible. The main features of this bulb are its cooling system. So you can see around the base it has some vents, and there's also vents on the top. So it's cooled by convection, so cool air will be drawn in from the bottom. It passes up through the bulb and then out the top. The novel design feature of this bulb is actually how it's constructed on the inside. It has two printed circuit boards that interlock together, and there are eight LEDs total. So the LEDs are adhered to the printed circuit boards, which then act as a heat sink material to help spread that heat out, and then that convection will actually cool it off. So this bulb stays very cool in operation. You can touch it with no problems. Uh, even after hours of operation, it's barely warm. So that's quite impressive. In my opinion, uh, this bulb it might be almost the ultimate uh, evolution of LED bulb design. The way I look at it, this bulb is almost perfection. So from now on, hopefully, Cree can maintain this design and only work on improving the internals to improve efficiency and light output. So I really am impressed with this design. The only negative comments I've heard about this bulb are the potential to get dust inside of it and also potentially bugs might be attracted to it. So you might end up with a lot of dead bugs on the inside. So uh, one thing with LED bulbs, however, is that they don't really emit much ultraviolet light, which is what a lot of species of bugs are attracted to. So without that ultraviolet light, they're less likely to be drawn to it in the first place. And uh, from the looks of it, uh, the vent holes are big enough that if bugs do get inside of it, you could probably shake them out and kind of get them back out of the vents. So time will tell how that works out uh, if you have a lot of flies or other insects in your house. Uh, obviously not going to be suitable for outdoor locations where it could get wet since it's completely unsealed. Okay, here's a quick overview of the packaging material for this bulb. So you can see it's a Cree 60 watt soft white. So this one is 2700 Kelvin for its color temperature. It uses 11 watts and like I said the old generation bulb was 9.5 so it uses slightly more power. 4 flow is what they're calling it. It uses 11 watts to put out 815 lumens, which is actually slightly brighter than the old version. On the back side, we just have standard lighting facts information that you can see there. So it gives you all the standard information, 11 watts, 2700K, 815 lumens. So pretty standard packaging, very cheap. Uh, one thing about this bulb, uh, it's it appears to be extremely uh, inexpensive to manufacture. The packaging is inexpensive. The bulb itself is plastic on the outside, has printed circuit boards, a couple LEDs which are sourced from Cree itself. So uh, it's a very inexpensive bulb. I've read estimates that it might cost between 2 and $3 to manufacture. So uh, the company probably has a large profit margin in there. And they're pricing it to be competitive, but also it's just got to be a huge moneymaker uh, considering how simple this bulb is. Like most LED bulbs today, this one is dimmable. So just using a standard dimmer, we can dim it down gradually and see how it responds. So it dims down nicely. I can hear a slight buzzing sound. I don't think you'd hear it from more than about three feet away, but if you're up close, like a reading lamp, you might be able to hear a slight buzzing sound. So as we get dimmer and dimmer, there will be a point where it just plain shuts off which is very dim. Okay, it's still going, and now it's off. Now to turn it back on, you're going to have to kind of overshoot and turn it up. Well, let's see how it goes. Okay, so I'm still turning it up, and it's going to flash on. So that's the minimum brightness on the way up, and then to dim it, you have to turn it down from there. So that's pretty typical from what I've seen of most bulbs as far as how they act on dimmers. In conclusion, the Cree 4-Flow 60-watt equivalent LED bulb is a very good bulb, but more than anything, the design, I think, 
is what Cree got right with this. This design will allow them to go forward and make different iterations and improve the internals while retaining this external design, which has no cooling heat sink and has the vents to let the air convect through it. So I think the design itself is very significant in that it looks like a normal light bulb. It cools well. It doesn't have the hot heat sink. Uh, I think this bulb will really go forward in the future with revised internals to hopefully improve that efficiency. Because the efficiency is not that great at 11 watts, but once they get up you know, to a similar light output and down to 9 watts or 8 watts or even less over time, I think we'll see this design, this style of bulb going forward in the future rather than the bulbs with the expensive heavy metal heat sinks. Speaking of weight, I didn't mention it before. This bulb is extremely light. It weighs about the same as a regular glass incandescent bulb. So it's very lightweight, so it's not going to have any problems with your fixtures drooping or falling over and stuff like that.